became the king of all villages. And I'll be taking my kingdom from nothing to the most powerful village in the multiverse. But when the village comes under threat from a ruthless evil, can I defend my people? But first, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. Wow, Guido, look at that one. Kind of looks like a dinosaur, don't you think? Hey, I'm not really seeing it. Oh, come on, man, I dumped it. Whoa! Hey, a distress signal! Somebody must be in trouble! We gotta kill Steve! Snap out of it, Guido! We don't even know what's going on yet! Now come on, let's go! What in the name of the Cosmic Princess is going on here? It looks like the village is under siege! Hey, right over here, buddy! I got you! Oh my gosh! Oh, I didn't see you! Come on, buddy! We've gotta get in there! Oh, this is brutal! Look out, look out, look out! No! Dude, who the heck are these guys? No, my arch enemy Mesa! Today I'll destroy this tiny village. Tomorrow I'll destroy the multiverse. Not on my watch, Mesa! Uh, let's see, we gotta grab a weapon. Uh, let's try this. Uh, come on, you're coming with me! Good self! <laughs> Take this, Mesa! Why is everyone staring at me? Whatever that sword is, Steve, it scared the bad guys away! For now. Yeah, well, when they come back, I'll be waiting for them. Uh, oh my gosh, that is a heck of a crowd! Please, just settle down. I'm oh, like... hell, King Steve! King Steve? Oh, this must be the king sword. Uh, uh, listen, I appreciate it, but I'm no king. Nonsense! The prophecy foretells that the king of villagers will remove the sword from the stone and defeat the man in the mask! They want you to protect them, Steve! We should help them! Oh, okay, well, if this is what it takes to defeat Mesa... Then I shall be your king! Uh, Guido? What the heck is that noise? Oh, yeah, that's pretty awkward. That is not a good start. Hold on a second, Steve! Here. Wait, seriously? Okay, maybe this is gonna help out. I mean, we've literally got nothing right now, so this can only help. Okay, what have we got? We have village plans. Am I seriously gonna have to rebuild this entire village from scratch? Take a look. Oh, yeah, we've got some kind of blueprint here. It looks like we can build all of these areas within the village. Well, every king requires a tower, so let's start here. And for this throne room, we'll need 40 wooden logs, 256 cobblestone, and 10 gold ingots. Ugh. Don't worry, Steve. I'll help you out. <sighs> Thanks, buddy. Come on, to the trees. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Yep. Brace yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy, but you did volunteer. <sighs> and after all of that, Guido, we got only 20 logs. <sighs> and it looks like we've got an audience. Oh, what are you guys doing here? This is so awkward. Just quit staring at me, okay? I know I'm your king, but that doesn't mean I should be doing all the work. I'll tell you what. You guys better make yourselves useful. If you're going to follow me around, the least you could do is help. Here, this should be enough. Uh, Steve, I don't think that's gonna work. Hold on. It's working. It's actually working. Heck yeah, it is, buddy. Look at how many logs we're getting. This is gonna be more than enough. And we do need to get 256 cobblestone, so I wonder. So, as long as I build these guys the tools, they should do all my mining for me. Let's find out, I guess. And then hand them over. Hey, you, citizen, take this and go to work. Hey, where is he going? Hopefully to mine us up some cobblestone, buddy. But I am a new king, so there's no guarantee he's gonna listen to me. What in the multiverse? They're definitely putting the work. Yes, they are, buddy. And you know what? I'm gonna help them find the gold. Gold, king, the king finding the gold. It kind of makes sense. I'll need one of these, some of this. Oh, excuse me there, buddy. A little bit of this. And I think we'll be ready, Guido, to dig straight down. Wait, what? No! A king does what he wants! Come on, just a little further. I can smell the gold from here. Here we go. And whoa! No! <gasps> gold! And there we go. More than enough gold. Look out! Uh, what the? He's in a Oh, he must have been sent by Mesa! 
I have no quarry with you, sir. Don't make me do this. Ah, uh, you know what? This guy works for me, sir. Not so slimy anymore, are we? Hold on a second, Guido. Look, he dropped a note. Hmm, let's see what this is all about. We cannot let Steve reach his full strength. Our only course of action is to end his miserable and pathetic life before he has the chance to finish his kingdom. Do not fail me, Mesa, obviously. Oh, <gasps> Mesa did send him. Duh. My people must know about this. We are at war. Gather round, citizens. I have some terrible news. I... Wait, Guido, what is that on my face? A nose fit for a king. Um, thank you, Mr. Elder. As you all know, we have been facing aggression from a tyrant known as Mesa. Hey, that's his kingdom right there. And with my guidance, you shall help me upgrade this village to ensure that Mesa never harms it ever again. How are you so sure they're gonna do what you say, Steve? What, the whole mining and chopping trees thing wasn't enough for you, Guido? Watch this. Everybody dance! Oh boy. Oh, yeah, get it, guys! This is kind of fun! Just look at them. How can Steve expect to rule when he has his people doing this? Let us show him the might of a true kingdom. Fire the catapults! What the heck is that? No! Oh, oh, oh. oh, my throne room! I just built that! Oh my gosh! Dude, look at the onslaught of boulders! They must be being sent from Mesa's kingdom! We need to find the Elder! <sighs> here he is! Here he is! What do we do? The walls! They're the only way to protect our village! And for that, we'll need 2,000 stone bricks, and we also need to awaken Beefy? Who the heck is that guy? Okay, listen, villagers, you focus on mining up those stone bricks. I'm giving you all of my pickaxes. And Guido, let's go awaken Beefy. Let's do it, whatever that means. Uh, uh, come on, the compass is leading us this way. I seriously hope Beefy's over here. Yeah, well, I don't see him. Whoa, I've never seen anything like this before. Looks like the floor is weakened here. Maybe Beefy's inside. Eh. I guess we'll find out. Oh. It's not breaking. I mean, it probably leads to certain depths, so that might be a good thing. Oh, no, Guido. We have to get in there somehow. Thanks. Wait right here. No, where are you going? It's too dangerous. Hey, Mesa. What do you want? I'm right here. Come and get me. That's it, come on, this way, whoa! Beefy, we are on our way. Oh man, do I have to come too? Yes, Guido, you do, now come on! Whoa! Whoa! No! Oh. Wait, this must be Beefy! It looks like it's Steve, and we definitely woke him up! <laughs> hey, uh, nice Beefy, I'm your king! Uh, stay back, oh. I command you! Oh my gosh! What do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Well, it's obvious, Guido! We've got to kill Beefy! Bring it on, whoa! This doesn't make any sense! How is Beefy supposed to help us? Beefy, no! What the? What the? <gasps> it's the village elder! Huh. <sighs> Are they talking? Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have tried that before I started swinging a sword at Beefy. He looks kind of more calm now. Apologies, your highness. Beefy has been stuck here for a while now, trapped by the man in the mask. That's okay. I get like that when Guido wakes me up too. Oh, the door he was sleeping on. Oh, we must need it to build the wall. It all makes sense. And we've got the 2,000 stone bricks. Beefy is carrying a door which will complete the wall, so it is vital that he survives the journey back to the village. Oh yeah, look Guido, there's a gap for the door! That's why Beefy needs to survive! Don't worry Beefy, I'll defend you! Oh jeez, watch out for the creepers, dude! Well, you're not doing a good job! Yeah, well he's a big guy, Guido, what can I say? Come on, gotta get through these zombies here! Get out of my way, get away from Beefy! Watch out for the skeletons too! No, 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 stay away from him! I need that door! Steve, the kingdom is secure! Yes! 
but it is kind of empty. But no fear, Guido. We can just go ahead and consult our village plans. Uh, Steve, what's that on your face? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh! I've got a beard? What is this crown doing to me? Anyway, it looks like next we can focus on building the mine. And apparently we only need 30 stone and 10 fences for this? Well, that's gonna be easy. I could probably make this all by myself. With this final fence, Guido, the mine will finally be complete. Uh, is that it? It's pretty disappointing, not gonna lie. Whoa! Oh, it's the mining machine! Uh, yeah, I can see that by the giant drill on the front of it. Anyway, it looks like the multiverse wants me to be the first one to use the mine. All right, let's give this thing a shot. Here we go! Whoa! Dude, this is actually kind of fun! I love it! Oh my gosh, it is so much faster than using a pickaxe. And look, we are getting so many resources from this. Whoa, look at this, Steve. We went all the way down to bedrock. Not really a king's job, but someone's got to do it. Anyway, let's check out what's next on the plans here. Now, what is this all the way down here in the bottom right? It looks like some kind of farm. Rescue the kidnapped animals from Mesa's kingdom. Kidnapped animals? Oh, I hate Mesa even more now. Also, cool cave. Ooh. Ooh, hey, that looks pretty cool. Much cooler than a bushy gray beard anyway. Oh, and by the way, Guido, I've calculated exactly where we are right now. We managed to dig down, loop around, and now we're directly below Mesa's kingdom. So if we want to get those animals back, so all we've got to do is dig straight up. Come on, Guido, let's go. We're in the kingdom. And look. Yeah, but Mesa's men are everywhere. Yeah, I can see that. Step one of the plan. Find out exactly where the animals are. I'm not leaving without them. There they are. I see them. Oh, poor things. Okay, we got to sneak towards it. I honestly think it's going to be better to go this way to the right because there's a lot more cover to use. Just got to wait for this guy to walk by. Come on, and... Let's go, let's go. All right, come on, go. Wait, there we go. Come on, Guido, hurry up. Oh, they're everywhere. Yeah, but thankfully, they're total idiots. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. How's it going, Hank? How's the family? Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Oh, great, now Mesa's here. Come on, around the edge. All right, once the coast is clear, Guido, we're going to get in for the cage. I think this is as close as we're going to be able to get. Okay, Steve, just be careful. All right, let me make sure I've got my lead ready. Lead? What is that for? I'll cue you in, Guido. Don't worry. Three, two, one. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Guido, now, come on, get over here. Oh, I see where we're going with this. Run, run. Uh, come on, come on, let's get out of here. Go. Engage your thrusters. Woohoo. Calm down, Sneaker's still chasing us. It's fine, Guido. The kingdom's just up ahead. Come on, your highness! I can't keep the door open much longer! <laughs> Huzzah! Our animals have returned! And with the farm complete, our people shall go stronger once again! Stronger? What are you talking about? Oh, by the Cosmic King's beard! Look at that guy! You know, I can see this village getting stronger by the day. Mesa's gonna stand no chance. <laughs> Wait, what is that? It seems like the village elder knows where that sound's coming from. Yeah, but what the heck is it? It sounds like someone's in pain. And that can't be right unless Mace is here and attacking. Oh, yeah, we would have seen him. Yeah, you're right. Uh, wait, what is this? Hey, no, cut it out. Stop fighting. Stop it. Stop it right now. That is not in our kingdom's code. No fighting. Hey, elder. What the heck happened here? One of these villagers is a traitor, your highness. A spy sent by Mesa. They're arguing over who it is. Oh, really? So we've got an imposter among us. Then there is only one way to settle this. We shall build the biggest battle arena in the entire Minecraft dimension. And the six of you will compete to earn my trust. <laughs> Very good, sir! Guido, the battle is underway. Look at them all. Stripped down to their undergarments, fighting for their lives. Now, Steve, sounds like the power is going to your head. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm a really nice king. Don't worry. Now, each of these contestants has a different fighting style. We have to pay close attention. One is a formidable warrior. They're attacking anyone that comes close to them. That's exactly how one of Mesa's soldiers would behave. 
Yeah, but look at number two. They're being extremely sneaky, trying to stay away from everyone, hiding in nooks and crannies. Also, another Mesa-like behavior. Now, three and four have formed an alliance. They're fighting back to back, not letting anybody get close. What about five? Well, number five is trying a peaceful approach. They're planting flowers for anyone who wants them. How about six? Well, number six is... Oh! One's going on rampage! Oh, I can't look! Dude, yeah, I think I'm gonna be sick! I've never seen this much blood and guts before! At least two's got the right idea, staying away! Uh, wait a second. Why are they both coming to the center? They've thrown their weapons down. I, I think they want to be judged. Oh, but I don't know who's the traitor yet. Oh, now let's see what we know. Two was being very sneaky... But one is definitely bloodthirsty. Both of those traits belong to Mesa's army, but... Uh, oh, I really don't know. But I do have one final solution. If I go ahead and do something like this, and then I turn my back to these guys... What are you doing, Steve? You left yourself exposed to the spy! Don't worry, Guido. I've just got to focus on the sounds around me. Someone's sneaking right behind me and... You! You're the traitor! Yeah, we got you! For this treachery, you will serve time in my prison. Which coincidentally is where I rescued all those animals from. I see how that works. Guido, take him away. You know, Guido, I think we did a really good job with this place. Yeah, it was a real mess. Yeah, I remember everything was destroyed, on fire, but now look, we got a bunch of half-naked dudes walking everywhere. It really is a super cool place. And you know the best part? I'm starting to think that Mesa will never come back. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's This is my kingdom, and I won't let you have it! No! 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 Oh, my sword! Uh, my crown! Uh, oh, Elder, be careful! What are you doing? Wait, the crown! It changed me! Maybe it'll change him! Guido! Oh, he's so powerful! What in the multiverse happened? You won't stop me, old man. My reign will continue until the entire multiverse is destroyed. He really is powerful! That... that was incredible! Uh, are you okay? <gasps> I'm okay. What? What's that? It seems like the crown chose you. I don't have my beard. I don't have my cape. I don't even have that stupid nose anymore. No offense. I think you should be the king. No, I can't. I'm too old. Well, they don't seem to think so. Come on, Guido. Let's go. Uh, aren't you going to help them rebuild again? I said, let's go. 